We're the Honest Guides of Prague, and today we're gonna show you a treasure of our city, worldwide known, the Prague Zoo. Now, we're not gonna see any animals, giraffes, but we're gonna go to pups that are named after animals, or they're in houses named after animals. And all the pups we're gonna show you are more than legendary. They're very historical, very unique, and we treasure them because we love them. And the first one is in this house, and it's called By the Black Bull. Cheers. We are here early during lunchtime. That means we can admire the pup, not really its atmosphere because it usually gets packed with locals and regulars uh, in the evening. Yet you can still come here for some food and quite often people from the nearby Ministry of Foreign Affairs come here for lunch. It's a big building, so a lot of people. And in the history, uh, himself, the Minister of Finance, used to come here to have a beer. Now the name of the pup is by the black bull. But that was not always the name of the house. It changed in the history. There's many different records of the name of the house. And there's a saying that the reason it's called Uchernejo Vola, by the black bull, is because there was a house neighboring it that was called by the black eagles, Ucherni Vorlu, and whoever was writing the name of the house in some history records actually made a spelling mistake and therefore the house changed into this name. It may sound complicated, it is complicated, but anyhow, that's how it ended up with this name. And since this place and all the other places we're showing you today are our national and our city Prague treasure, they also only serve the national treasure of ours, which is Pilsner Urkel beer. Just to clarify, since we're showing you traditional places, don't ask for a Wi-Fi password, they don't have it, and be prepared to pay mostly in cash. But since we promised you Prague Zoo, we're not just gonna stick with the bull. Let's go find the hippopotamus. Just to clarify the rules of the Prague Zoo, you start at the top above the castle and you walk your way down, not the other way around. You wouldn't like that. Now we're at the hippopotamus and it is tight here. Uh, don't expect getting a table for yourself. If you see a free seat, sit down or we usually stand here with Hanza. Now this building is from 1459. None of it really remained, only the Gothic cellar, so it's been rebuilt multiple times. And this pub is more than traditional and historical, even though it's from 1994. It's very popular among politicians because the uh, parliament is right next door and also famous hockey players. Sometimes you can see the NHL team sitting here at the table. The bartender is awesome. He actually remembered us because we filmed here once. So he was super happy to hand us two beers and shared a smile with us which may not happen with you if you're a tourist visiting for the first time, so bear that in mind. Ciao. Čím je hrok nejznámější? Váma, samozřejmě. Uh, myslím, že naši malou bouklady, to jsou historické malby, myslím, že pochází ze 16. století a nenabídli se toho kvůli, že to necháme to ten stavu, jo, aby náhodou jste papátka, že já to nezjeba. <laughs> So this was the hippopotamus. Well, what's the next animal on our list? Now, another pup that is a proud member of the Prague Zoo is this one, Ukotsoura, by the cat. Well, we're not gonna go in to have a beer, yet we did look inside, but we were here years ago with a very famous YouTuber before we even knew what YouTube is, and that is Matt Harding. You remember that guy? He was dancing all around the world, and he actually taught me in this pup how to make his dance. So, hi Matt, thinking of you, and we're gonna go to another place. Now the Prague Beer Zoo includes a walk across the Charles Bridge without stopping, no pub here, and the next place we're going to is called By the Tiger, and believe it or not, Honza was never there. So he's a first timer, let's check it out. How's that? Oh, sorry, man. Well, hello there and welcome to the Golden Tiger. 
This is one of the most legendary pubs. And even though it's your first time here, Honza, I've been here before. The first mistake I made was I was wearing a backpack on me. You shouldn't do that. And the second one, I actually ordered a small beer. They don't like that. You're not gonna get your own table. You just sit and join someone if there's a free seat. So take it. Uh, one of the free seats was actually taken once by our Czech president and the president of United States, Bill Clinton. The reason they came here was to meet one of the regulars that was a famous Czech writer by the name Hrabal. And there's an evidence of this meeting here. It's that picture up on the wall where our president is introducing the famous Czech writer to Bill Clinton. Mostly regulars here, some tourists from all around the world. But if you come here, I hope you will love it as much as we do and treasure it as our Prague treasure. Well, let's face the reality. We've had enough beer, but Prague Zoo is not only beer, but also some good food. So let's see the elephant. We've arrived to the Havel's Market, which is this street, and right here is the elephant pup that I mentioned. And we're not going in just for the beer, but also for their great meal. And actually, this is the first place that we're mentioning in today's videos, where I would consider ourselves to be regulars. To be fair, we usually come here for a beer in the evening. I love to sit outside in the garden on the street and just do some people watching. But since we had a lot of beers today already, we decided to show you some typical Czech cuisine, which would be the goulash with potato pancakes. What do you call these? Potato pancakes and Honza got a schnitzel. Yum. We have arrived to a place called by the Red Deer. We've shown you this place multiple times. They have the tallest beer tank tower in the world. And we ordered two schnitz. Hello. Hello. You may recognize Hi. our friend Mira. He's Hi. from the video where he was teaching us and you how to pour a beer properly. And so you can tell if the glass is clean and so on. Would you consider your place, this pub, to yeah. be among the Prague Zoo? Yeah, yeah, because uh, we are animal. So you belong to the zoo. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I guess you can uh, see the clear difference between the old places and the one we're showing you right now among the Prague Beer Zoo. Now that being said, I really want to uh, point out that if you do want to do the Prague beer zoo tour do it with like your best friend don't do it with like a stack party or a big group but if, because if you do go to the old traditional places you will just ruin the atmosphere there now if you do want to go with a large group to some place to have a beer or dinner this is one of those but there's one more last place we want to show you that still sort of belongs to the Prague zoo and it's its newest addition Now you can probably tell that this garden can accommodate a lot of your friends. It's very popular in the summer. We're here in the late fall, so it's not really packed, but there's still a few people around. And this place is called Dvakohoki, Two Roosters. It's owned by our great friend Adam, who is also a brewmaster, and he makes his own local beer right here in the pub. Now, if we would compare this place to the ones we showed you previously, it is much younger crowd. But since we're doing this video together with Pilsner Urquell, which is a brand of beer that has been around for 180 years, we highly recommend you visit the older places and taste the treasure that we have in our country, which Pilsner beer definitely is. I hope you enjoyed the Prague Zoo beer tour. If you're more into the Prague Zoo, it's in Troja. That way you can visit it as well. But we really enjoyed it. Please drink responsibly and enjoy the tour. We're the honest guides, Yannick and Honza. We try to show you the best places here in our lovely city of Prague. And I'll see you on our channel next week, next Sunday. And in the end, I'm gonna teach you a Czech word that you will see a lot around the world without knowing it's a Czech word. And that is Pilsner. Yes, it is a type of beer, but it is also a town of Pilsen, Plzeň, that gave the beer its name. So if you happen to be in a beer shop and you see Pilsner type beer, it is from the Czech town, Plzeň. So you can call the beer Plzeň, but the only original is Pilsner Urquell.
plzeňský prazdroj.